AI-enabled chest X-ray screening is set to revolutionize South Africa's tuberculosis coordination program. And also, we are also supporting the community in doing outreach events. As you have seen that we have identified two patients that were asymptomatic because it's a hotspot area. So we are encouraging more people to do chest X-ray. An estimated 304,000 South Africans are infected with TB annually, and approximately 56,000 people die from the disease. The rise in active TB numbers is due to another highly infectious disease, HIV. Dr. Yogan Pillay, one of South Africa's senior most health experts, explains the scenario in South Africa. Yeah, South Africa has a large TB program and a large TB problem. Uh, fueled as much by poverty and inequality as well as the HIV epidemic. Uh, you know, we still have about 50% of our patients being COVID-infected. So, you know, so we've had a legacy uh, of uh, HIV driving the TB uh, challenges. To tackle these challenges, the KwaZulu-Natal Department of Health is driving change by putting together a multi-partner program. With USAID, Think, LTE Medical Solutions and Cure.ai. LTE Medical Solutions, a Verdi's healthcare company, provides our clients with cutting edge, innovative hardware and software solutions to find, screen, diagnose, and ultimately treat clients suspected of TB by implementing software systems from Cure AI and Link's Healthcare Framework. And specifically, the Cure QXR software, we can find and screen up to 30 different pathologies, including TB, in under 30 seconds assisting our partners to case manage and ultimately save lives. The program deployed mobile vans equipped with AI augmented portable x-ray screens in 15 villages across seven provinces. Along with 25 plus deployments, the National Department of Health aims to process 600,000 scans through the program. What is the impact of AI integrated chest x-ray screening on TB detection and patient care coordination? Okay, digital X-ray augmented by AI, it's also going to help us a lot as the district as well as the province. At, at Nkungunjovu, we are a rural district, so with more high to uh, rich areas. So in some areas, they are also not covered by the clinics. So then the X-ray, it's going to help us. Firstly, I will talk to within the facility. Then there will be those patients that will be identified to have TB symptoms but fail to produce the sputum, or especially those that are HIV positive because they hardly produce or cough. So then they will be get, they will be referred to X-ray so that then they will be diagnosed and started on treatment if then they are abnormal X-rays. A radiographer shared insights on how mobile vans equipped with AI augmented X-ray screening devices are making a difference in the communities. The AI system or artificial intelligence um, helps um, overcome the challenge of radiologists in the, in the country. So we have fewer radiologists and the ones that we have are actually quite costly. So it helps us overcome that challenge as a country and we have quite a few facilities with these um, with mobile X-ray, um, with, with X-ray units, sorry, with X-ray units and then um, it helps us overcome that challenge and then it is more accurate than, um, than humans. It is, um, it is not prone to human error. Various patients who visited the mobile vans said they could be screened for TB, receive results and begin treatment all on the same day. The patients appreciated the fact that the mobile van initiative allowed them to access testing and treatment conveniently. During the first six months of implementation, we screened six and a half thousand people with our mobile digital x-ray units using AI. Um, and of these, we found that 7% were presumptive of TB. This ultimately led to 187 people being diagnosed with TB. These were people that would have otherwise been missed. So this is really fulfilling a, a very important need in making sure that we are finding all those people with undiagnosed TB and making sure that they get onto treatment. Our hope for the future is that we'll be able to utilize more and more of these mobile digital X-ray units with using artificial intelligence. So we really can support in finding all the missing TB that we have in our country.
All these experiences suggest that AI Augmented Chest X-ray Screening for TB is here to stay and will continue to play a vital role in TB disease management, especially in resource-constrained and remote locations. So we've got to leverage technology. So if we can routinely screen people at a very cheap rate using AI-assisted uh, X-rays, we will be able to get people before they even know they have TB. Absolutely right. And that's a big benefit of being able to screen people. Health officials are now hopeful of being able to scale across more provinces for more disease areas, including silicosis. It has emerged as a serious public health issue in South Africa because it increases the risk of tuberculosis. How healthcare officials, care coordinators, AI solutions providers, and other stakeholders come together to tackle it is the story of tomorrow.